the biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media has newspaper, midweek, radio, South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse Television. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Online, SouthAsianDaily.com. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. आज यूनाइटेड पकर एसोसिएशन वालों एक काफी बड़ी कॉन्फ्रेंस जड़ी है थे आयोजित की थी जिस में चुकी काफी सीनियर मेंबर्स ब्यूरोक्रेट्स लेजिस्लेचर्स इवन मिनिस्टर ने शिरकत भी की थी तो उन्होंने शमूलियत की थी मौका सी का यूनाइटेड पकर एसोसिएशन के मेंबर वालों अपनी आवाज से अपनी मंगा नु बुलंद करन दा ते उन्होंने उन्होंने सामने जड़ी है अपने जड़ी भी चैलेंजेस ने पॉलिसी नु लेके एक काफी कठोर पक्ष लेंदे हुए जड़ी है उन्होंने नाल अपने विचारा दा आदान प्रदान कीता पेशा एक रिपोर्ट ते जे कट ਕਿ ਇਹ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਸੱਚੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਪ੍ਰਤਾੜਿਤ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਐ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਸਿਆਸਤਦਾਨ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਦੀ ਰਾਜਨੀਤੀ ਪਲੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਚਰ ਤੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਚਰ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਰਾਜਨੀਤੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਾਜਨੀਤਿਕ ਰੰਗ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਇੱਥੇ ਚੜਨ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਪੇਸ਼ਾ ਇੱਕ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਮ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਲਾਗੂ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਗਏ ਆ ਕੁਝ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੋਰ ਪੈਸੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਨੇੜੇ ਪ੍ਰਕਿਰਿਆ ਚ ਲਾਗੂ ਹੋਣੇ ਆ Oh man, I'm going to call my friend uh, Gary Beck, MLA Gilford. Uh, he is going to talk very briefly about uh, the actions or the decision we have already made, the government has made, and the uh, implementation is going to take place uh, in the very near future. I want to uh, start by thanking you uh, for attending. It's important that we acknowledge the work that has been done in the past uh, while since we started working with you. And it's important that we all understand that these processes uh, although they may seem slow are meant to be negotiated and we've been very successful in doing that. As a matter of fact, we've reviewed what has happened since these meetings started happening and together we have managed uh, to make some significant progress. And that is key to your future success as well. If we are to and continue to make progress it requires continued dialogue and it also requires respect for a system that has been put in place to make results happen you and we must work through the commissioner to get to where we want to go you can have influence and we can have influence together that is going to make some progressive change that will help all of you you know that we as a government believe that uh, truckers deserve fair compensation. And that's why we're focused on providing this balance that will be necessary as we move forward to ensure that all of us are successful. As your group has uh, talked about some of the accomplishments that we have accomplished together, and I want to re-emphasize them so that uh, we're all starting in the same place here. It's not like we have to reinvent the wheel. It is that we have to continue this dialogue and process that is geared towards success. You know, of course, that we uh, increased the base rate across the board by 2%, you uh, mentioned that, and implemented the uh, $25 positioning move rate. That's all, of course, meant to improve the lives of truckers. Um, uh, together, uh, we accomplished the raising of the rates uh, by 2.6% for hourly and trip rates and raised the minimum call-out rate from 200% to $300. Our cooperative effort with the commissioner uh, is actually helping to implement the recommendations from the rate review. And you'll notice that again I mentioned our cooperative effort with the commissioner because I think that's important. No matter what happens, we have to work through that process. We as a government are committed and hopefully you as truckers are committed to working with the commissioner and other industry stakeholders uh, to make sure that there is fairness and stability. We don't get there by yelling and shouting and screaming and accusing. We get there by cooperating, uh, engaging in dialogue and being respectful with each other. You'll know, of course, that the Ministry of Transportation is hosting a spring forum. That's designed to get direct input 
from the trucking industry. And that's important. That's another opportunity for dialogue. That's another opportunity for constructive discussions which will lead um, to change in the industry, change that, that you all seek. This, I send all details for that case and I question him that. Why are you bringing that, that company guy to this meeting? And he says, Duggan, we bring him because so that he may learn something after sitting. And we totally buy audit commissioner meetings for consecutive 12 or 15 months. We didn't show up there. But that poor fellow commissioner was supporting them. Punjabi Shahari, Horn Bilulala, BC Sarkar, who will law the Karmana Jaira, which Jacob Manda Karayan Karmana, who forced it to be forced in our racket to her Jatruva, took commissioners of the ideology of the Jew Mande, IAC, Chipetan Gito, Sekhmer, Changa, and Bobby. But commissioners are in with Namu, in who we can be tail to be say. So after that, it comes over to how commissioner office is undermining us. We send out this complaint on April 3rd, 2018, that Mr. Commissioner, one of the company named Simard, is paying less than the legislated rates and Mr. Commissioner give us answer no he's paying right because they are a company from far east they have more money than us they have more lawyers they can work whatever they can and another email to the same for regarding the same company on November 29 we send him an email that Mr. Commissioner, you have ordered or you have suggested this company that instead of paying 12 person fuel surcharge, you have suggested six person because that company is giving fuel cart to their owner operators. First of all, we tell their owner operator and that's unionized company. When I talk on their behalf, sometime union rep contact me and say, Gavin, why are you intervening into here? And I say, man, do you have any problem? And I tell them, remember one thing, time doesn't remain same. Previous minister of transportation, Todd Stone, was bullying us, and everybody can see that guy is no in news. Some poor fellows from our side too who were thinking that they are the masters of this industry, they are not here now. But truth remains same everywhere. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel.